Hello, and welcome to Snack Time, the show where I eat weird and wonderful novelty foods I can tell you if it's good or bad for your life. And um, this is also ASMR. So I'm branching out. Look at all these gypsy rings I wear. Gorgeous, I wear. I don't think I can do ASMR because I breathe too loud. Is it too Remember the crackle candy? You don't even need it to make that sound. If I was a Foley artist, there would be so much of this. Let's try another setting. Does that- oh, that makes my voice a lot deeper and dark. I don't know if I like this setting. It kind of makes it a little bit like um, you're listening to someone give a really terrible TED talk from out in the lobby, and you're like, "I don't want to listen. I don't want to listen. I don't want to hear what you want to say. I don't want. I don't want to start this. I can lead you astray, and I, you know, I'm the Pied Piper here. I'll lead you, you, and all the snakes into the ocean. <laughs> and let's go back to regular voice." Um, I don't even know what my regular voice is. Sometimes it's this. And other times it's like this kind of annoying voice where I'm talking like this. And then other times like, you know, I'm just I'm so I'm so tired and I'm really gr cranky and grumpy and I don't want to be. <laughs> so, if you can't handle me at my <laughs> then you can't have me at my Here's a TED talk about blowjobs, right? You have to take me as I am. This is me. And uh, I was worried about doing the show today because I had literally nothing to talk about. Like I thought maybe my jewelry would guide the stream of consciousness, but I don't know. These are like magical power rings. Imagine if I could like have a lightning and fire coming out of my fingers. Wouldn't that be so awesome? And like, why don't I have magical powers? And every time I talk to my therapist about magical thinking, um, they're like, it's not real. Oh, look what I can do. I saw this video with Dolly Parton. I don't even know how close to the microphone I need to be so it sounds good to you. Yeah. Okay, does this make me a bad person? When I look at airplanes, I'm like, you know, the coolest thing to, that would happen right now is if, the, if that airplane exploded. And wouldn't that be a heroic death for all of those 300 people on board, even first class? I just like stare at it, waiting for it to explode. Because I need to test out my powers of, what is that, kinetic energy or kinesiology? Or, what is that? Telekinesis? Again, I'm getting into new age stuff, and it frightens me, but it's also like, hmm, this is kind of a cool alternative way to live my life. And as a middle-aged woman who is losing all of my charms and my groove, and I don't know how to be cool anymore, I need like another avenue to travel down. So, sue me burn me at the stake you know a woman, a woman like me back in the middle ages i would have been burnt at the stake for sure i don't have any warts um i do have this thing on my head you probably can't see it right there um trying to pop a pimple <laughs> trying to pop a pimple because i'm addicted to popping pimples and blackheads is that gross and weird? I think that's like, um, like an evolutionary thing because we derive, we came from apes. We're, we'll get to the snack in a second. And they just groom each other all day. And if you're a bonobo, you just groom each other and have sex. If you're a chimp, you groom each other and you fight. Which monkey do you want to be? I want to be an orangutan. Or like 
a lemur. I think a lemur is related to apes. I wish we had evolved from lemurs. I want a big fluffy tail. What else can I do? Can I do the loon call? This one's really hard. Like, I used to be a pro at it. Now it just sounds like Father Time or like, um, Father Winter. Sir Winter? And here in Canada, winter is on its way. It's gonna rain a lot and then we'll probably get snow and flooding. But I love the rain. It's very refreshing. I can't, I really wanna do this. There we go. That's as good as it gets. Um, you know that Tom Green song? My bum is on the man. And then at the end, he's like, I want to hear the cannon. I want to hear the cannon. No, not the loon. The cannon. And like, as a child, I was like, is this man mentally deranged? Because like, <laughs> I would watch his TV show too, and he painted two lesbians on his dad's car and then his dad was like so mad and he didn't take his car to work and he went to the bus stop and then Tom showed up he drove the car right in front of where his dad was and there was people around and he's just his dad's like <laughs> I can't even remember his reaction but it was probably utter embarrassment and <laughs> what a way to torture your parents huh <laughs> that's too funny oh and my nose is still fucked up I really, I think I need to say a prayer of atonement to Slavoj Žižek. I'm sorry, Slavoj. He probably, when he's when he breathes, he probably like has a whistle sound. Like breathe through your damn mouth, but then also being a mouth breather is a bad thing. Okay. So, I think the internet has completely fucked everyone's brains, like my generation, millennials, and Gen Z, like even more so. But as millenn millennials, we kind of have this like, um, ace up our sleeves where we're like, we remember a time before the internet, we can kind of dis disassociate and back away and pull out of the internet. And be like, I'm gonna go ride my bike and drink out of the hose and buy you candy at the corner store. Um, I'm just reliving my childhood. There's a corner store a block away from me, and it's like I go there every day And I buy shit there every day, and it's being run by two teenage girls Like two Indian girls, and they're so cute and adorable, but I'm like Well, it's a good thing we live in a nice neighborhood. Are you gonna get robbed? They probably have a gun. Oh Yeah, those teen girls have a gun <laughs> I really can't stand this nose itching thing. It's like the bane of my existence. And I don't know what it is. Like I said, I don't want to take in any history. Let's talk about some other words here. Any history. 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 Go to sleep. <laughs> this is relaxing for you. And I just established in there. And my radio show is going to be me telling women how to deal with their periods. It's like all I got. I don't have a degree in anything circumstantial. I think I'm just using any words that I want now. I signed up for this app that was a word. For, I have vocal fry. This is like the other voice that I have. It's like vocal fry. So I can make fun of sorority girls. Um, me and my little are going to this frat party. And we're bringing Everclear. And, and Jessica went to France and she got um that shit that's green. 
um, French Everclear. What is it called? Absinthe. Absinthe. I've been absent from school for two weeks because my boyfriend just wants to have sex with me all day. And I'm going to be a prostitute. I'm going to be the best prostitute in the whole world. Was it going oh, yeah, we're going to a sorority party. What was I saying about Dolly Parton? She did this thing with, like, Eartha Kitt. And she was like, I'm a little baby like short and short and I'm a little baby like short and red. I'm a little baby like short and short. I'm a little baby like short and red. Um, Sarah and Tiffany and I are going to karaoke at this, like, dive bar. Um, we normally don't go to, like, places that smell like pee, but we want to, like, see how the poor people live. So, we're going to go and do karaoke. I'm going to sing Mama Loves Baby and sing Baby. Then some other girl's like, I'm going to sing Doja Cat. And then another girl who they, like, had to invite so she wouldn't feel lonely. She's, like, the brunette sorority girl. And she's like, well, I'm going to sing either, like, Elliot Smith, or the Radiohead, or, um, like, Sir mix lots Baby Got Back. <laughs> like, oh, um, Karen, we don't like you. Fuck, I'm just remembering high school and how this girl, who was my best friend, and she was like, she came up to me in the hallway with her new posse. She's like, um, Kalina, I just want to tell you that I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're so weird. I was like, am I? Burned. And then slowly my friends started getting boyfriends and doing and getting prepared for university. And just like, I'm going to art school. <laughs> Fuck, what a joke. I feel like I didn't learn anything there. I probably did, but like in general... Did I learn life skills? I want to go to the University of Life Skills. The University of Hard Knocks. <laughs> That's what happens when you go to a dive bar. You, um, you go to the University of Hard Knocks. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. But I'm a really scrappy person, so I think I've learned a lot just being scrappy. Man, I want to be on an airplane right now. But hopefully someone with like real mastermind telekinetic powers isn't looking at my plane and wanting to explode. What's the best way to die? I don't know. I've been reading this book about hospice care and I don't understand dying. I'm almost done and I'm like, I still don't understand what dying means. They're basically like, oh yeah, the hospice nurses are there and they're em empathetic and they form a bond with the dying person so they're not so alone. It's like, hello, hospice nurses, have you learned anything about what dying actually is? What's going on? They're just like, oh no, we just make them feel comfortable and if they're in pain, we give them medication and we just sit there until they die. It's like, ugh. This book isn't helping me at all. It's called Lessons from the Dying, and I'm not learning anything. This is why I hate reading books, because I get so invested, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to learn something useful, and then you get through the whole book, you're like, well, that was a waste of 12.50. And then you take the book, and you put it into um, one of those little neighborhood nookie books. Bookie nooks. I'm probably going to get into the snack pretty soon. Um, I don't... We can talk about debate club. I used to be in debate club, and the moderator for um, our like championship debate club was Teal Phillips Bonderoff. And I never forgot that name because, like, what a fucking name. Teal Phillips Bonderoff. Teal Phillips Bonderoff. And then he was a cool guy, and he like won the championship, the, the final round of debate club. Went to university. And, uh,. And then a few years later, when I went back to my hometown, I saw his name, like, on a political sign that you put on your lawn. I'm like, Jeff Obama? Wow, you got politics? That makes sense. <laughs> and now he, he, I think he has a PhD or a master's. And it's like, 
Everybody I know has gotten like a PhD. <laughs> I have a PhD and pretty hard to decipher what the fuck I'm all about. PhD at the School of Hard Knocks. <laughs> PhD in the at the community college of being a punk ass bitch. Um so anyway, and then there's another guy in town who was in the music scene and he's also now in politics. It's like, yeah, you go. And I'm imagining my life as a politician and it wouldn't go well. Uh uh. So I need to find a new direction so I can be like a really smart lady. Like super smart. Like so super smart that like they want to put my brain in a jar of formaldehyde and study it. I'm okay with being a lab rat. I'm okay with sell selling my body to science. Science. Silence. Silence with the science. I wasn't really good at science. Um, I took chemistry. Getting like comb over vibes right here. Science. Silence. Yo. I didn't even have a date to the prom. That's how fucked up I am. Why didn't I have a date to the prom? I literally went with my parents. I almost had a date for the prom. I was dating this guy. I ran away from home one day. And I went downtown. Went to this coffee shop. And this like cool dude was looking at me. And he had a muffin sent over to my table. And I was busy reading some claptrap book. And then it took all of my courage to like go over there and be like, hi, thanks for the muffin. And then we started a whirlwind affair. He was actually with a friend and his friend was like, okay, see ya. <laughs> Do you. And this guy, I was 16 or 17. Yeah, probably 17. And um, this relates to the snacks. Here we go. We're almost there. Um, he had a Vespa. And we would just like drink coffee and go to art galleries and go watch like theater shows. And then I'd like go to his house. We never went to my house. You know, we did one time he came over to my house and he had really stinky feet because he worked all day on his fucking feet. And he came over and I was like entertaining him. We were playing a board game and like eating dinner. My mom was like, ew, what's that smell? And he was so embarrassed. I'm like, don't worry, mom. I love my mom sometimes. She was just so mean. She's like, oh, it's so disgusting. It smells like garbage. He, he spoke up. He's like, I'm so sorry. It's my feet. I was just like, I came from work. She's like, go in the basement. <laughs> so we did. And then we had sex and I got pregnant. <laughs> no, that's a lie. He was a gentleman. Anyway, I was 17. He was like 19 or 20. And um, it was getting close to the prom time. Like it was March or April. And I was like, oh, do you want to go to my high school prom with me? And it, I could just see it on his face. He was so heartbroken. He's like, no, I can't. I can't go to a prom with an underage girl. I'm so sorry. Now he is in the Navy. He has a PhD in riding boats. <laughs> he had a chin strap beard, though. And I guess that was, like, kind of cool at the time. Men's facial hair has really gone through a... Um, evolution over the years and like Hitler really stole that little mustache from men by men and okay anyway here we go into the snacks when I was at his house we'd always like order pizza and watch cool movies and he introduced me to anchovies I was like ew anchovies like no 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 you don't you don't get it the salted anchovies is like you get one on the piece of pizza and you kind of eat around the anchovy and it makes the pizza so much better and saltier. And oh, it's so good. I was like, all right, let's try it. So here we go. Fried seasoned anchovies. I don't know if I'm going to eat them all. I wouldn't put these on a pizza, but we'll see. So thank you to that boyfriend of mine who opened my eyes to anchovies and to Jim Morrison, I think. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it barely smells like anything. That's a good sign. 
I heard somewhere, like, if you go into a restaurant and it's kind of seedy and it smells fishy, leave immediately. Like, if a seafood place smells fishy, you go away from there. Bye-bye. Get out. Thank you. There was this one sushi place by my house that, like, one time they fucked up with the negatoro roll and the tuna tasted like dumpster. And I was like, sorry, I'm never coming here again. And now there's, like, five sushi places in that stretch of businesses that I frequented. Sorry. I'm surprised that place is still in business. And now there's like a bunch of pizza places coming up. Vape places. Like how many of the same store do you need in a five block radius? Huh? Isn't there someone at Central City Planning going like, oh, maybe this is too much. Like in, in uh, on Robson Street in Vancouver, there was a Starbucks here and then there was a Starbucks kitty corner to the Starbucks. I'm like, am I in the fucking matrix? Is this like the glitch area? <laughs> anyway, let's try these. It smells like, you know, those little Chinese markets that you walk by and they have dried everything. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Mm -mm. These aren't too bad. Never read a Chuck Tingle novel. I think I should. That guy puts out a book like every other day. I heard he has schizophrenia, which that makes sense. <laughs> but like, he's killing it. These are pretty good. It's like um, those sesame snacks. But with a little kind of like fish flavor. They're tiny bit spicy. Or like ginger beef. It's really in that wheelhouse of tasting. I'm surprised at all the stuff that like comes out of my head when I just start talking. Before I start the show, I'm always like, fuck, I, I haven't done anything today. I did some laundry, talked to my neighbor. What am I going to talk about? And then it's just like a wellspring of shit that I can remember. I started getting into EMDR. Hmm. These are an acquired taste, but like... Oh, they have chili peppers on them. What was I just saying? I forgot. <clears throat> Stream of consciousness. These would be good in a salad. Fried season and relief. So talking about ASMR. Chuck Tingle. Schizophrenia. I don't know. Shit, I've reached a mental block. And that scares me because I'm like... Do I have Los Dominchas? <clears throat> Do I have Los Dominchas? Necesito preparar un answer. It's so weird that, like, embarazada, embarazada means pregnant, but it also means, like, embarrassed. So, any women who are pregnant, you should be embarrassed of yourself if you go to Mexico. <laughs> I downloaded my Duolingo app again. God, that fucking owl, hey? Constantly on my ass. Constantly. Hey, we missed you. Finish your lessons. Are you coming back to finish your lessons? Um, we're going to cancel the app if you do not show up. Like, this is just free learning in my free time. Why are you being, like, so domineering? You're just a little green owl. I'm not afraid of you. I am not afraid of you. I can take you out. I'm, uh... I'm going to this like trainer, fitness and nutrition trainer, and he's like a Russian athlete. Oh, you'll you'll like like you'll like me a program that it is catered to you. It is all about you and what the uh, what works for you. And I, I've done this for thirty five years. Uh, 
I don't know if I'm not going to do the Russian accent. I'm just getting into it now. I'm just trying out the Russian accent now. In Russia, we don't have anchovy. We are very really landlocked. If you want anchovy, you have to go to Siberia and fish in the Northern Sea. Learn to click Iceland. Beer, I'm sure that beer eats very much anchovies and hardly. Oh, baby! Harkel! Harkel! That's the next thing. I have no idea where to find it. It's probably going to be like pickled herring, but I think that's the end game. Is eating um, fermented shark that's like been left in the ocean for many, many years. You will very much like the Harkel. It is like a delicacy. Um, here in Iceland, we don't have taste buds because we have bred it out of our population. In the womb, if we see that the fetus does not have taste buds, we go, yes, they are Icelandic. And if they find out that the fetus has taste buds, we abort them. We abort them with hardcore. The mother, the pregnant mother, eats the hardcore and the baby dies. <laughs> No, but that's what Iceland's doing. They like um, euthanized fetuses that have uh, Down syndrome. I'm not gonna get into the ethics of life and death here. I just wanna eat my anchovies. <clears throat> yeah, Russian trainer. You like take. You have to take a picture of. I can't get back into the Russian. Mm, I need like. I need to see a demo first. Um, if you want to take my program, now I'm doing several things because I don't know how to do fucking Russian exit. Uh, he wants me to take pictures of every meal for the next couple of days. So like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, beverages. And I'm making it an art form. Like I take the picture, I put the filters on, I put text over it, the text in the day, and I'm like, this is my meal plan. And I kind of am cheating a little bit because he was like, well, you have to tell me everything you put in your mouth, every little thing you put in your mouth, you have to take a picture of it. Oh, fuck. And I was like, yikes. So... That day I went and got groceries and I got a couple things that I don't normally eat, like apples. Apples and the uh, multi-grain toast. So I hope he doesn't see right through. He's like, I know you've been eating. I know you've been eating chips. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I took a picture of my dinner once and I put it Little Debbie's chocolate and snack cake there. And I was like, you know what? This is me. I eat Little Debbie's snack cakes. But I'm willing to put in the work to be a UFC fighter. And I think this is what he secretly wants from me. He's like, I will help you get fit and lose some weight. But I want you to be a prize fighter. But I want you to be a prize fighter. I'm going to work on my Russian accent, I promise. Because that's what I do. And uh, we're almost at 30 minutes. I think that's enough. That's enough for today. You've probably had enough of me. I'm only getting like 10 views on my videos. But I have a secret surprise coming up. Keep your eyes peeled. Because it might appeal to you what I'm going to do. This kind of tastes probably like cat treats too. I'm really on the fence with it. Like I said, it needs to be combined with like a salad. You know how you have little crunchies or like walnuts? It has to go with something else, but just to eat these as a snack. Just a couple. Just a little couple. A little perfect couple. <clears throat> That's all I want is to be part of a perfect little couple. But I'm not going to get into my dating or love life right now because we're at 30 minutes. And 
I don't like hour-long podcasts. Too long. Um, I have to go grab my laundry now. From the Speed Queen Machine! That's the brand name, and it's hilarious. Everything can be a joke if you want it to be. Don't it be so serious all the time. Unless you're the brunette Karen with the sorority girls. Who sees right through this weird sorority cult stuff. My sister was in a sorority. I'm like, oh, you're in a cult. You'll never escape that cult. And she hasn't. She's in a horcrux in the seventh dimension. <laughs> Probably because I'm jealous and I went to art school. And we don't have sororities at art school. We have lesbian... A book study. Oh my god. Mama's baby love short and short. Mama's baby love short and red. Mama's baby love short and short. Mama's baby love short and red. Oh, that feels really good. Does it feel good on your ears? <laughs> okay. I need a nap. I'm going to go grab my laundry, fold it, and then sleep on my folded laundry. And then when I wake up, the laundry will be on.